Yeah, yeah, I'm the motor. The kids generally get very excited towards this time of the, the weekend and we will be having an exciting finish to the race this year, something special. The Soapbox Derby is an event where um, children from all ages get to, from scratch, build up their own Soapbox Derby carts, which is generally a South African a cuss card, something that you use out of scrap materials to race against other kids. Generally it's more to encourage teamwork and to um, make new friends and safety on road and safety with using equipment you know working with wood and working with hammers and nails and screws which a lot of the kids have never done before due to technology about just being on their laptops and tablets it's more about time not about um, the speed of the cart so you could go faster but it take longer depending on the distance you go and also in terms of deadlines with the kids having a strict deadlines to finish their cart building It's not just about um, science in terms of like chemistry and physics, you know, and this is actually kind of physics because it has to do with momentum, you're moving, um, measurements, that kind of thing, length, uh, your weight distribution, center of gravity, so it's basically just another form of science. Science is everything, really. Uh, a cut, uh, which came like in the 80s. That was built by our grandparents for us. Um, they used to build these cuts when we were young, and then we ride these cuts. We do provide materials. Kids are welcome to source their own materials from around the grounds for decorations and things like that. But generally, we do supply materials. We try to use recycled materials as well for the day. Oh, so it's the same as ours, the go-kart as we go down and trying not to die. He's driving. that I've met around here today have never ever worked with any instruments and never a physically bad interaction with different elements and stuff like that and with um, generally general like workshops. Um, team third place though, but gonna they look they work hard and they're cool so I wouldn't mind if they get first even though they call team third place. Um, then you got the kids over there you know it's very sweet it's very cute I like it they got a really cool go card not saying that they had help but they had help. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then obviously you get Team Life is Beach, they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. Not really affiliated with them, but I think they're probably the best team here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
The track is based in front of the 1820 Settlers Monument. Um, the track is approximately 500 meters long and it's got quite a gnarly first bend and then quite a nice little downhill for the kids to gather up some speed towards the finish line. You can get a bit of speed. Gener that's generally the fastest part of the course is when you get that speed around that corner there. That's got a tricky bend. And then it goes for about 200 meters down this road to the finish line. There is another right bend, which is not a hard bend, but it is. That's where you're going to be if you're still on your couch. <laughs> no, no one's really falling off it, yeah. Thank you. 